Hey what's up guys it's Aptrex here today we'll be taking a look at the first ever Nintendo Switch emulator for iOS devices which has just released and it is known as Sudachi. In today's video I'll be talking about minimum requirements how this app actually works and uh, can you really emulate Nintendo Switch games. Now note this is not an fake emulator this is actually genuine emulator created from the same developer who worked on Emu 3DS the first ever 3DS emulator for iOS. Now as you will be able to see I have already loaded the Sudachi Nintendo Switch emulator on my iPhone. Emulating games on this emulator is pretty difficult and I'll be explaining how it actually works later on in today's video So be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification and let's get started So this right here is my iPhone 15 Pro Max and you'll need to sideload Sudachi Nintendo Switch emulator on your iOS devices Now there are various tools which you can use for that I personally use 3 tools to sideload Sudachi on my iPhone Basically it works just like any other Nintendo Switch emulator you'll need to import your own keys and game files files into the sudachi emulator folder which is available in the files app as you can see sudachi folder so you'll need to import it properly once that has been done just go ahead and launch the emulator and it should show you your nintendo switch games that you have loaded now unfortunately that's not how simple it is to actually get this working as you might be able to see if i just go ahead and tap on any game it instantly freezes and crashes that's because sudachi is not really compatible with ios 17 or about devices this is an unfortunate news because in iOS 17 JIT was discontinued it is no longer possible to enable JIT and emulate games on iOS 17 or above devices that's the main reason why it's not booting up on my iPhone 15 Pro Max now there is a way to get this working that is to simply use JIT streamer on your Mac OS as JIT streamer doesn't even work with Windows now you need to have an Mac OS laptop or PC and use JIT streamer to enable JIT wirelessly on your iPhone then only if you try opening any game then it should successfully boot well inside the ui of sudachi we get additional options such as importing dlc or updates we also get uh, settings where there is nothing really there is only one option known as fake setting and when you click it nothing happens uh, so sudachi is basically currently in its alpha stages and i am not really sure about the future of this emulator as you guys know yuzu emulator a nintendo switch emulator for pc was recently taken down due to a lawsuit from nintendo and i believe it also uses a forked version of Yuzu emulator so I can't really tell you guys if the development of this emulator will be continued to a place where it's completely playable on even older iPhones. There are already many gameplay videos on Sudachi emulator uh, from the YouTube channel which I am showcasing right here. If you are wondering how does Nintendo Switch emulation work on iOS devices you can check out his videos. Unfortunately uh, it's still in beta stages and uh, for iOS 17 or above it can't really be completely played. So those are the only downsides. Let's talk about minimum requirements. You need an high end device let's say like iPhone 13 Pro Max at least if you want to give these games a try. Other than that on any other device it shouldn't properly work. So if you haven't updated to iOS 17 it is a great time for you to try out this emulator. Unfortunately though I am using iOS 17.3.1. Anyways that was all about the first ever Nintendo Switch emulator on iOS devices. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.